Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back on the burnout truck, and this is kind of some of the last minute things we can do before the transmission gets here. I was at the transmission shop this morning. I'm going back tomorrow and hopefully picking it up so we can get the trans back inside of the burnout truck and start ripping this thing. Today, uh, the hardest bar come in, and actually, it's sitting in here. And, well, I'm sorry, it's not. I did take it back out. So, we just did the reversal, and you can tell, this is nowhere near as big as it needs to be. It's designed to hook into, like, seatbelts, like a car, and it's not going to work. So, my idea is I'm actually thinking about having it made, modifying it, cutting it, and basically doing this again on each side of the truck and bolting it to the back side of the cab. That way the height is right for the harnesses and that way it's centered with both seats because I'm not gonna be able to get it centered with both seats if I do it the way it's made here. So that's gonna take a little bit more fabrication than we can do here at the shop. Now the drive shaft is sitting back here and it, it, it's gotten the best of us because we don't have all the equipment we need here. New U-joints. Um, I got the Moog high strength U joints for this and Austin is going to take it to his actual shop like it's his business and do them there for me because he can't get it here today. So we were going to do that. That's one thing that has to happen before the trans goes in there is uh, getting the U joints. Now the next thing I want to fill you guys in on, a lot has happened because it's been like two weeks we've been waiting on the transmission. The rear end. I put on Instagram, but I didn't have any luck. I was looking for a limited slip differential. Well, kind of like the cat eye has. It's actually exactly like the cat eye has. I finally found one down in North Carolina. I'm going to go pick it up next week. What we're going to do is because of the budget being blown on the trans and stuff like that, we're actually going to put the factory rear end for now in. Now, the benefit of this is we have limited slips. Now, it's got a locker. Both tires are going to spin. And it's got 373 gears. This truck's got 323s in it right now. So even if we welded the diff, which is risky at best, we, wouldn't st we would still have really crappy gears. So this way we get good gears and we're getting a locker so that way both tires spin during the burnout. So we're hopefully to get that the first part of next week and that's going to go in kind of after the trans. If all goes well, the trans goes in the very beginning of next week, Monday. I've got to be out of town for work. So hopefully you kept up with me there because a lot has happened. Today, what is actually happening is the passenger side racing seat needs to get bolted in. You know we got the driver's side bolted in in the last video. The radiator, the stock little tiny radiator is coming out today. And we are going with the big 34 inch core. So uh, here's a uh, 34 inch core that we're gonna put up in there. It's the same like the cat eyes got. This ought to keep it plenty cool during the burnout. And due to our lack of trust in the 10 inch fans, we got, we had, <laughs> Took me a second to find them because we cleaned up the shop and ended up on the catch-all table. So we're not going to do those little 10 inch, we're going to put the big, the big 14 inch fans in here and uh, roll with these. These should move a lot more air. I think they're going to be fine for what we're doing. That's we got two of them here and that's a good bit of air. So uh, I think Austin, I think I just heard a whole bunch of waterfall. So you know, my Apple one. did you get off? Are they waterproof? Yeah, they are, but it's <laughs> nasty. Oh goodness. Oh well. I might have messed the pan a little bit. <laughs> Slightly. Well, don't knock that over. You have a whole down. Um, Give us just a second to get the uh, trans line undone from the radiator here, and we'll uh, pull the old one out. Alrighty, so radiator is obviously gone here, and uh, usually you don't see right through it because you have an AC condenser, but we have eliminated that back a while ago. So here is our new radiator. <clears throat> I want to show you guys the comparison here and the size. I still got the fans on this one. <clears throat> that is the stock one that is our new one now here's the crazy part these literally this will literally bolt right up in there the bolt holes exist for this radiator so you can see how much bigger it is neat. than the stock one so now <clears throat> it is literally as easy as just setting it down in there and using the same exact hardware <clears throat> that you had before Good. Just like and as you see there, it just sets down in here and there's the holes on each side that it bolts into. So, pretty crazy. Now, if you decide to do the big radiator, keep in mind, if you've got the stock clutch <coughs> fan and the fan shroud, that it's not going to fit. Because you're going to end up with the fan shroud here 
and a bunch of radiator out here. So you'd have to modify the fan shroud and or do the e-fan conversion because that's what these fans are designed for. Because when you do, when you get the bigger radiator, the holes that the original radiator bolted into is where the electric fans would bolt into. All right, so the, the battery's a little bit weak, but the fans are pulling pretty good. You see here, this is the back side of it. It pulls it right to it. We've got two of those on each side. So I think that's going to move plenty of air. And just like it did the other ones, it's really not really easy. You stick them through the fence, cut the ends off of it, and we're set like that. Now, for you, those guys who did not see how it's wired in here, it's really cool. I got to show it off again because I like the design. So when you're in here, where the radio used to be is the metal plate, and you've got fan one and fan two. So, and of course, they light up red once you turn fan one on and fan two on, which is really cool. I need to, we need to label them. Um, we still have the nitrous to put in here in two step as well. But that's how you turn the fans on for it. So, pretty sweet. So, I think Austin is uh, currently hooking that radiator back up. Oh, you're, you're almost done with it. Um, another reason that we did the new radiator with the new transmission. You, you always need to flush the system out. Well, we figured that it's best to not have the radiator period off of the factory transmission, given how, how old it was. So now we've got a nice clean radiator. We took an air hose to the lines because there's no transmission under it right now and poked it up to it and blew everything out. I mean, we even washed, washed it out with parts cleaner and blew back through it. So the lines are clean, the system is clean, so there should be no contamination from the old trans fluid or anything like that into this new transmission, which if you're not familiar, that could ruin a transmission if it's bad enough. A new transmission if you don't flush out the coolant system. So uh, I want to, uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, that's what I was, sorry, I just stopped Austin. I want to change all the clamps out to the, the actual hose clamps here. So I'm actually going to undo this one and take it off and do legit hose clamps because these, these things suck. For one, they suck to work on. Two, they're not really that strong. We have a new shop pet. He is back oh. there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all come, y'all come meet Barry the bat back here. So while while we're filming, I'm sitting here getting hose clamps together. Old Barry the bat right there decides uh, he's gonna take a little flight around the shop. So uh, I'm not I'm not really <laughs> ecstatic about him being in here, but. I also don't really want to kill them. I'm sitting there like underneath the hood of the burnout truck and they're freaking out over this thing flying around. I didn't yeah. even see it. Well, he'll he'll leave. Yeah, he'll, he'll be all right. Yeah. He'll get tired of our LS bull, bull crap and move on. He's probably a Ford guy anyway. He'll, he'll find a new home. All right, guys, so we have got all of the hose clamps switched out but one because we ran out of the big clamps so i have to go get some more big clamps but we have got the radiator in there and that is that is an extremely simple and if i could find the mass airflow blow that'd be nice that is an extremely simple and easy mod if you need a new radiator i definitely recommend doing it because you know better better cooling is always a good thing especially if you tow or anything like that with your truck it's you definitely do burnouts. want to do burnouts that's a good one too <clears throat> definitely a good idea to have good cooling because that kind of is what protects your engine from blowing up in a sense and overheating right. yep uh but i got the e-fans in here and they work great Beautiful. like i said i gotta cut these tabs off i gotta tape those up to the wiring harness like i had the old ones um everything's plugged back up is there something i'm forgetting so. Got all the new hose clamps on. Oh, taping the weekends. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, all right. Grab that. And then, uh, got a couple more things I want to talk about about the uh, burnout truck as soon as I get this finished up. All right, so a couple things I want to go over because we're closing in on that time where we're going to start doing it. Uh, the paint, paint and body is the next thing. So, I've got some body filler and some fiberglass filler fixing any little dent like that dent right there. Uh, fix the rust out of the cat corner already, but I still have the rockers to do and I still have the bed sides to do I mean, I'm not really sure about the bed here where it's It's busted up really bad I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that because that's it's so bad that I really don't know any way I could fix it So I might just kind of end up painted over 
But we're still gonna do gloss black and you know, whole thing's gonna be gloss black. I've already got the wheels for it and they're 20s and uh, that's, you're just gonna have to wait for the big reveal on the wheels. I'm not gonna show that until the actual reveal video. And speaking of that, there is gonna be a big reveal video. There'll be a period where you'll see it like this and then we'll have a reveal video once uh, everything comes together. But in the coming week, body work's got to get done. It needs to get sanded down and ready for paint. Uh, we still have tuning to deal with. We got the transmission going in and a bunch, still just a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, it's, there's still just, there's a lot to do. And I mean, over here on the board, you know, uh, there's, there's a lot. I mean, it still needs this front bumper. It needs the rear axle paint, nitrous two step roll paint, exhaust tune. Wheels and tires, transmission, hopefully that's going to get done. I need to get a grill for it, harness bar. So, I mean, it's just a bunch of little things. The big, the big time consuming things are tune, paint, nitrous will definitely be a, a good significant amount of time. Are we choosing between one of the two or are we doing both? Uh, probably going to have to choose between the two. Austin's got a good point there. It's probably going to be <clears throat> nitrous and not two step. For Cletus and cars, reason being is we need nitrous for power. Two step doesn't really give us power, um, and it's just because the budget is gone. The budget is blown because of the transmission. Now, I, if if all goes well in Bradenton, I I wouldn't root out having two step by Indianapolis because that's two weeks. So if we go to Bradenton and all goes well and we don't break anything, then I could definitely see two step being here for Indianapolis, and. Uh, but see, and another thing that's not well, tires, I've decided more than likely I'm going to buy brand new tires to smoke off. Reason being is I want the, lo the longest possible burnout I can do it. I've already decided on a tire. That's all part of the reveal video. So there's certain stuff here that I'm not going to tell you because I want it to be revealed when the truck's all done and rolling out of the shop. And it's going to be an awesome video. And hopefully three weeks from now, we're hoping to have that reveal video, or at least make that reveal video maybe three and a half weeks before putting it out. <clears throat> but that's about it for today's video. We've gone as far as we can go without a transmission. We need a transmission, and we need a bad. Yeah. Yep. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for sticking with us here on the burnout truck. I'm excited to get it going. Um, once it's done, once we get Bradenton behind us in Indianapolis, we can get back on the cat eye, which I haven't forgot. I've actually still been talking back and forth with companies and picking out parts for it so I, it's definitely not been forgotten about it's always in my mind so you got anything to add <clears throat> we got 28 days left oh yeah and uh it's it's gonna be a stressful 28 days so like we always say we've both got full-time jobs this is about to turn into another full-time job um but it'll be worth it in the long it's run so so thanks again for watching drop a comment you got down below don't forget to follow me over on instagram at austin 04 underscore z71 take care have a great day